He went for it. That's a really good out. Go in. Go in. Yeah! Oh! Warning. The black course is an extremely difficult course, which we recommend only for highly skilled golfers. Nailed it. Is that you? Well. Are you a highly well, skilled golfer days, this morning? Some days I'm a barely skilled golfer. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another course vlog. We are up here in New York today. Right. It's a nice, early, brisk morning. Where are we? Where, Where are we at? We're at Beth Page Black. Getting ready for the PGA Championships. That's right. We're gonna coming test, up. We're gonna test it out. See how this bad boy does. Yeah, we got. You know, obviously, we got a lot of PGA Tour people watching this video. So, you guys, we're gonna do our best to show you how the course is playing, where not to hit the ball is essentially where we're gonna be showing people. That's right. Most of the day. And what I'm most excited about is the length at which we're gonna be playing this course. Yeah, let the people know what we're doing today. We're doing something a little bit different. Yeah, we're calling it. We're calling it one foot in the rough. So we're not we're not going to the back tees. We're going to the back tees. That right foot is going to be in the rough. So we're playing from the very <laughs> tips. tipped hips, and uh, we're not sure how we're going to do. I think we were. Our yeah, goal... we we started talking a little bit about what we're trying to shoot today. Normally, when we try to go out and play, we try to shoot under par, and we're trying to you know make a lot of birdies and whatnot. Today is going to be a different story. For those that don't know, this course for like the casual golfer and for myself growing up. This was a course that I always knew about. I didn't really know that many about that, that much golf and golf courses, but this was always a course that I knew was very, very difficult. Yeah. And I mean, that was the thing is like, if you come play here, you're gonna struggle. It's right. And so it's, it's, it's the best of like testing your skills and your abilities. So we're putting it to the, the test today. We're putting it all the way back to the limit. What's the score you're trying to beat? Well, I think, uh, I mean, if I shoot 82, I think I'm gonna be happy. But I'm I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to break 80. I don't know if it's possible. 80 from we'll see. But 82, uh, I think. So would be break good. 80. That's what we're going. I gotta, both of us. I, I gotta try. I we're gonna we both try it. to break 80 today. Uh, the course looks amazing right now. Everything uh, is set up right now, as you can see, all the stadium seating and whatnot. There's also a fun little thing down there. We'll show you guys here in a second. But we're gonna get to the golf right now and uh, show you how beautiful and awesome this course is. Patrick was not prepared uh, for the cold conditions. But here I am now. Now we're warming it's up. It's approximately 54 degrees out here. <laughs> Slightly sure cloudy. The rain might be coming a little bit later. Oh, this is perfect. But we're gonna head to the first tee box and uh, get this thing going. There it is, it's folks. Close. It's been a while it's since I've seen it. It's looking mighty fine here. Are we playing for the trophy today? I think we are. I mean, we might. They didn't say anything. If we break 80, they're probably. We might be playing for the trophy. <laughs> Just take it home with us for a little bit. We'll bring it back. I promise. But yeah, that's going to be great. All right, here we go. Here we are, Beth Page Black, hole number one. Just want to give a quick shout out to golf.com for providing us with the drone footage. I think it adds a lot of value to the videos. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed that as well. Also a little bit of production uh, boost here with the music in the background. It feels like we're almost on a uh, network broadcast here. All right, so hole number one, it's a par four, it's 430 yards. We're probably playing at 433, all the way in the back of the tee box. Dog leg to the right, you can see those trees kind of blocking your view. And then moving up on the green that is sandwiched between two bunkers, very narrow green tough to hit okay stipulations we're gonna try to play it as far back as we possibly can on the holes that we can clearly as you can see first tee box uh, one foot in the roughs gonna be very difficult because we don't want to mess with the trophy and we don't want to shatter our drivers on this but here we are hole number one we got Jack do you mind being on camera you don't Oh, perfect Jack's gonna be uh, helping us out today how long have you been out here Jack uh, 10 years we've been organized 10 years 10 years okay and uh, what would you say one piece of advice for today is for me and Pat? Uh, the big advice is keep it in the fairway. Oh, that, that is my specialty. My specialty is hitting it short and straight. Um, all right, so hole number one here. No pressure with, is, wait, where are the guys gonna tee off? This is really bad. Like right here? Okay, well, as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of people really, really close to you, so I feel like I should be standing right next to Patrick as we uh, as far back as we, can here. we go. But yeah, hole one here, looks like it's a little dog leg to the right. Not sure if you can cover those trees. No, I think you just wanna go down the corner. 250 on the corner. Mine's at the water tower. 
Lines at the water tower for the short knocker. First swing of the day though, I'm usually pretty good out of the gate. Oh, ropes it, cuts the corner. Get back in that fairway. If it just settles, oh, it's short. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> we got we got laughing already coming from the back. Shout out to Brooks, past champion. Well, not past champion. What do you guys say? Current champion. Current, current champion. He's the reigning U.S. Reigning Open champion. reigning U.S. Open champion. Gonna try and PJ champion. Gonna try keep my inner Brooks Kepka here and just blast this over these two trees. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think, Jack? Good. So guys, a little backstory here. Uh, we just popped out of our car. That was our first swing of the day. First we both day. got contact. We didn't miss it. It's also a very kind of, uh, it's not a real appealing first shot. No, these fairways, <laughs> that's I mean, the first thing you notice is that these fairways are a little tighter than you're used to on your, your local municipal. Yeah. Fairways are super tight and we just walked through the uh, rough back there. You don't want to be in the rough and unfortunately both of our balls have found the rough on yeah. the first hole. So, <laughs> And this um, is not even, I mean, I'm sure they're going to grow it up a little bit higher. But it's, uh, it's pretty... It's already long and thick. Yeah, it's thick and it's a little damp and it's not going to be good times. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a fun day, folks. Yeah, it's it's going to be a fun be day. Time. I'm curious what you guys think we're going to shoot. So comment down below your score predictions and we'll see if anyone can get me and Patrick's score spot on. 169. Very favorable for wide for the rough. And that's good. Okay, we get that this time. Very favorable lie for, for Patrick. 169. He's actually got a decent shot here. Not a terrible spot. Jack's calling him off the six. Tell him you guys go seven just to get it over this. Gotta get over the trees is priority number one. Not really where you want to be on the first hole, guys, but we've seen him make some impressive shots here, so. Hoist went up, off to the right. Might catch that little bunker over there. I think he's in the bunker. So Patrick got a pretty good lie out of the rough. This is, oh wait, what? I got a shot, Jack. You don't like it? Do you like it or no? Well, as soon as it hits the rough, it breaks your arm. Yeah. So you have to carry it. You gotta do a good punch. Yeah, you have to carry it past the, at least 20 yards past the last tree. I mean, I feel I feel like I can get I feel like I can get a little four iron action on or number. I think I can get a little punch four under this. Hey, even if you get it on the front, it's a great. It's a great shot. All right. This way, a little left to the. Uh, All right, right on the opening hole at Beth Page Black, is in the trees and it's not good, and that's exactly where Brody is. Left is slightly better, but let's see. He's going to try to punch a four iron. You can kind of see his little gap right there. Trying to get this just to fly like 80 yards. Getting a little hot. Getting a little hot. Oh, he's done exactly that. Too much. Oh my god. Burned it right by the pin over it the green. Almost was an incredible shot. <laughs> Alright, walking up to the first hole now. Yeah. Patrick has found himself down there, just right over the knob uh, in the bunker. My ball, I don't know how, but it came out pure and just rolled out into the back. That's actually not terrible. Uh, I'll have a good chance of getting that up and down. Big swing, needs a bounce forward. He gets it, rolls out, and hits it to about a foot. Pat, crushing it. Get our intro to the speed of the greens out here. Probably gonna be pretty fast. I'm betting Brody hits this one by, misjudges the pace of these greens. Go in, go in, Jack! Oh, whoa, whoa. yeah baby. Yeah. 
That's freaking cool! <laughs> Have you ever seen a birdie like that on the first one? No. Oh, come on. Let's go! It's in, baby! Let's freaking go, baby! Brody's gonna. Where you at, Brooks? Brody's. Where you at? Brody's not only gonna break 80, he's gonna break I'm 70. Bring, I'm bringing Monday <laughs> qualifying into this thing. <laughs> well, I, I told the camera that you're gonna hit it by the hole and misjudge the pace of the greens. <laughs> And you hit it in the hole. It would have went by. You hit it by the hole if you make it. Yeah, now. There we go. So Jack just said the first four holes, pretty easy out here. So we got to take advantage. Then on the back nine, we're apparently just holding on for dear life. Moving on to hole number two here, par four, 389 yards. It's a dog leg to the left. And as you can see from this aerial view, the fairways are tiny i mean 20 25 yards wide even the rough alone is a very small spot to try to land your drive in your approach shot is going to be going up to this elevated green here you have a pretty nasty little bunker there on the left that you don't want to get into but most of these greens on the front nine are fairly flat so getting something on the putting surface uh, should make you have a good shot at birdie or par Uh, run down to 275 fairway. Okay. Tall streets, 275 for the fairway. One foot in the rough for Mr. Pat here. Puts me in an awkward gotta, spot to film. You gotta get it really far back to get that one foot in the rough. <laughs> so he's going he's going to the tallest tree with a little draw. Yeah, 275 into the fairway if I told Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's perfect. Might be right on top of the carts. Could get a cart bounce. Oh my gosh, almost hits the cart. Ryan the fairway, great swing, great shot. There we see the 17th on the green. One of the other courses here at Beth Page. Taken, the state took it over in, back in the 20s when the country club went bankrupt. But here's Brody on the tee at the second hole. Brody on the second hole here. Gonna hit a slight draw. One foot in the rough. Oh. Quite awkward. <laughs> I literally hit the, oh, my back's perfect. Yeah, that's a great drive, though. Good? All right. No complaints with that one. So, this is the scorecard today. It's been a while since I actually walked and played. It's very nice. The pencil yeah. is what color is the pencil? Straight black, man. Beth, Beth Page, Page Black, black course. baby. That's going to be hard for it to pick up. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna, that, that's not going to happen. They're going to need to get new scorecards to add on uh, PGA Championships up here. But. We're going to uh, keep score. Goal again today, guys, 80. Breaking 80 is what we're going for. Looking possible after the birdie on the first hole. What a know. Walking up to our shots. Jack, not going to lie, I have no idea where the green is. Right in front of the green. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, Where's the pin? Oh, the pin's kind of hiding. The, uh, pin's right up there. we got a big flat green. Big, big flat big, green. Fast green. Okay. Fast this one. I've kind of learned out that first hole how fast it was because my ball was rolling out like a bow. I, I was not. I feel pretty fortunate to have found the fairway. These things are tiny. Yeah. This is not. I mean, Patrick's not a massive human being, but he looks huge in this fairway because of how small the fairway is. Yeah, it, I mean, it's what 20 it's, yards across. It's like 20 Patricks. 45 is the number for Pat here. But what was the actual? 38. Flag's middle, so he's just hunting for it with a nice, probably, nine or wedge in hand. Clean contact out to the right with a little draw. If it's the right number, ah, it just hits the front. Took it too easy on that thing. Yeah, a little too smooth, ah. smooth butter there. The higher club, take the higher club. Take the higher club. Yeah, higher, smooth, and smooth. Yeah. I went high. Didn't hit it hard enough. Pin is just on the right edge of that grandstand up there. A little right. Back. Ooh, sounded really good though. Sound game, 10 of 10. 
Look at this divot though. Gosh, we're playing on a dope course today. Ladies and gentlemen, that is fun. Yeah, what a when, uh, heck of a club, divot. When your club just feels like a hot knife slicing through some butter. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> Man loves butter. Pat actually hit a really good shot. Needed maybe an extra yard or two and he would have got on the green. He's in the bunker. Beth Page Black really testing Pat's greenside bunker play early here. Just coming up with shots. Hits another good one, needs to roll out a little bit. And he's gonna have about 12, 15 feet for his par. I came up pretty much right club, just a little bit off to the right. Thank you, Jack. Whew. Guys, it's cold and I'm a little bit out of breath. But it's gonna be quick, huh? Yeah. Just get it like almost halfway and let it roll out? Yeah, let it, let it roll out. I'm actually terrified right now. <laughs> Full on terror has gripped Brody. I was terrified. <laughs> he, I was terrified, he, Jack! He laid up, not even a good layup. The fear of Bethpage. They're not 25 on the stint, Brody. So I, I came up way short. I did not want to uh, put my first putt off the green. See if Patrick does a little bit better on the speed here. Does it stay up? No. Just slips by. All right. Drops one shot. Oh. Snake's behind the left right, side. So the goal of the day is just to chip in at all costs. <laughs> Three putting from 20 feet. Not an ideal start to the putting. But he goes back to even. He's still okay. Still on breaking 80 pace. Jack is walking all the way back to where we uh, are going. The tees are technically closed right here, but we got the pass from the superintendent that we're allowed to play back here. As you can see, this is gonna be a different hole <laughs> completely. It's almost a drivable par four, it looks like, from back here versus where the tees are right now. I think it's a legitimately an extra, I wanna say 120, 150 yards further back. Uh, par three, 200. What's it playing today? 232 from the back, par three. Here we go, let's have some fun. Here we are, hole number three. Par three, 232 yards. The tee box is so far back, it wasn't even on the drone footage here. But as you can see, pretty sweet looking hole with just that, you know, the typical Beth Page Black rough leading up in between. The tee box is in the green. We got three fun little bunkers around this green. Should be a fun hole. All right, we're back here with the one foot in the rough. Causing, causing a lot more problems than it's just the Yeah, distance. not just the distance, it's the, the backswing. This rough is, is steep, but we got a 240 shot here in the third hole. It's a long part. But he's hit a... That Jack, could go in. That could go in. It could be drinks. It's right at it. It's a little right. Just short. Ooh, great shot I'm there. I'm putting though. From 240, I, I'll take that every time. That's great. That's a great club right there. That was pretty much as hard as a four iron I'm going to hit out here. Gosh, I got I to gotta stretch to get that right foot. Yeah, you're getting a little, little, little. Getting a little I mean, you got, you got a little touch on it. We'll, we'll count that. We'll count that. Oh, he's gonna have to work on a short game again. It looks like he's found the left bunker. Yep, he's gonna bounce in the left bunker. He can get up and down from there. His bunker play is very, very good, guys. Very underrated bunker player. Hopefully you guys are already enjoying this video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a like down below and leave a comment too. Um, this is something that I'm gonna try to do as much as possible. Uh, working with the organizations and stuff to get out to some of these golf courses to just kind of show you guys what the golf course looks like prior to the people going out and actually playing them. I feel, for me personally, if I get a little bit of a connection to a golf course, one that I've actually seen a lot or played myself, watching it on TV, watching the pros play it, it's just so much more enjoyable. So that's kind of the goal out here today. Have a little fun time playing this course. Get beat up a little bit, obviously, 
but at the same time showing you guys just how wonderful of a course this is. And the cool thing about this course that a lot of people don't know, so you guys, if, you, if you're interested, you can come up here, well not in the next couple days because this is the last day they're allowing people out here to play, but you can come up here after the championships and you can actually wait in your car the night before, sit out, get in line, and you can get a tea time out here and play this course as well. So uh, definitely check that out. It's actually a pretty cool opportunity. Not many of these big kind of well-known courses uh, do that. So if you're in the New York area, come over to Beth Page, get yourself some golf, and uh, maybe even try the one foot in the rough like we're doing out here, because it is a challenge. Pat is three for three for bunkers. Let's see how this one goes. His first two are pretty good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, got that little finny. Not sure what's on the other side there, but he's gonna have to try to get up and down for his bogey. All right, got a little good shot in here. Nice putt. Thank you, sir. Uh, goal is not to leave it seven feet short. That is the goal for this putt. All right, Pat trying to get this one up and down now to salvage a bogey here. Get Keep it on pace. That's nice. He might have chipped in too. Ooh, rolls out just a little bit. Gonna have a little tester for his bogey. Birdie for another birdie chance. This one looks good. Oh, a little too much heat. Too much sauce on that Still burger. On speed, guys. Still working on the speed. Thought I hit it though. I he, thought I he hit it. it. All right, fun little tester now. Curl in. Ooh, slips by. They are slippery out here, folks. They are slippery. Hole number four, guys, par five, 517 yards. Jack just said it's the number one handicap on the scorecard, but he considers them to be, uh, what, five holes, you said, harder than this yeah. one? Next one? This one, really, I guess, if you just have a good drive, it'll put yourself in a pretty good chance to make birdie here. Uh, bad drive, and you're looking at just trying to make your par, probably, um, depending on where you can, you can see. It's like, it's like a little, uh, what is that letter? Like upside down L? And then another upside down L uh, as you kind of go up the hill here with bunkers surrounding both fairways. So cool looking hole. Sitting at 517 yards, this par five, hole number four, presents itself a very challenging tee shot. As you can see coming into the fairway here, that bunkering on the left hand side is perfectly in place for most people's drivers and then the trees come in on the right hand side. You want to find yourself somewhere just right of these bunkers here, which will then give you an uphill approach shot into this par five for two. Very difficult shot though, where a lot of times you're actually going to be kind of blocked. As you can see here, how high these bunker bunkers are in the middle of the fairway that kind of split off the two fairway spots. And also the landing, if you want to try to you know, lay up the landing area is very difficult to get the distance right. You got these two beautiful bunkers protecting the front of the green and on the back side of the green, it just kind of falls off into nothingness. So definitely requires a good tee shot, a good approach shot, and potentially even a good layup shot to get a birdie here. Look at this beauty up here. The fourth hole at Bethpage Black, one of the most stunning off the tee. It's out to the right. That was the first one that had a back foot on the rock really messed me up. Oh. Little cut. Get over that bunker. Oh, just short of it. All right, you're short, you're fine. So I'm thinking the hardest part of playing this right foot in the rough, which I've never done before, it's actually kind of fun, but the hardest part isn't so much the fact that you're just adding extra yards from the back tees, you know, there we probably added extra five or six yards on the hole. It's the fact that one, you're kind of off balance because the rough is sticky, high, thick. So your right foot is a little bit more off the ground. And the thing that's really, really affecting my swing right now is on the take back, 
it's it's kind of slowing down the tempo because the club is like brushing into the rough so i might have to make a slight slight adjustment on my drive where i actually take the club maybe almost do kind of like what some of the guys do on tour where they like float the club uh over the ground before they swing just so that it's not really messing up my tempo because there that was uh that was a straight push to the right i'm over in the trees gonna have to make probably a little punch out shot um and see what i can do here we might have a shot here we might have a shot yes lucky cowboy jack we got a shot we're going for the green folks here we go Carry the bunker up there. 280 pin. 280 pin, 268. Oh, pin. That's tasty. Right side, that's tasty for Brody. Now, this is yeah, not that's pretty high feet. This is not a uh, probably going for the green. I was thinking yeah, about yeah, it, I, yeah, no, but I now this is so. so. What are you thinking? Just short hit something that's going to be short of those bunkers on the left. Yeah, how about going right at the pin? Right at the pin. It's a 165 carry. Ooh. 165. And run out is probably uh, 200 on that one. Okay, so like a 180 yeah, like shot. A 180 shot right, right at the pin. Okay. You don't like the 280 pummeled draw right onto the flag stick? The pull wide. Pull wide. <laughs> no, no, he's gonna. He's nah, gonna. He's I'm gonna. Thinking like a three foot <laughs> from here would be really a dirty shot. It would be, but you got that tough of grass. It's not. I don't. Yeah. I don't yeah, that could get real I bad. Brody playing smart. He's just trying to break 80 here. He's not trying to break. I'm just trying to break 80. <laughs> yeah. Nice. yeah. I'm calm down. Trying to break 80. <laughs> uh, get up over those. It'll be no. there. No. Oh no. Tough lie. He's in the trap. I didn't get it clean, Jack. Yeah. All right, Pat's actually got another really good lie in the rough. And he's just going to do a little layup here. Playing positional, yep, great swing, good shot. He's in good shape here. All right, the ball, guys, is not going far today at all. So we're just gonna have to try to club up a little bit more than we think we will. I like the number, actually. He's enjoying the number. Patrick's gonna try to hit a shot here. Get a, one shot back here. Another smooth swing right at the pin. If it's enough club, Oh no, that is Beth Page Black, folks. The, the, the buried lie in the lip of the bunker. I've yet to not be in a greenside bunker. So, four for four. I've got a, I got a par, a bogey, and a double. So, hopefully, a birdie's coming here. Yeah, just like right, right there. Yeah, maybe a little last photo. This is good stuff. Yeah. This is the bunker you don't want to be in on the fourth hole at Beth Page Black. Totally blind shot down there. He's got about 130. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's hit it. He's hit it clean. I did? Yeah, big hole. Wait. Off the side of the hill. Did I not, did I miss where my line, I hit that right over where I thought I wanted to hit it. You were here. Uh oh. Well, we found it. Yeah, that was, that was one of those where you hit it and it's like a really, really good shot. You think it is and no one's saying anything. And you're <laughs> like, why is no one saying that's a good shot? And then you realize your aim was, I lost track of where I was supposed to hit the ball and I hit it way left. But it happens to the best of us. Happens. All it's right. how we recover, Brody. Gotta get something up here. Let's see how he does. I'll tell you in about 10 seconds how good this shot is because you, you're not going to be able to tell. Oh, it's a little left of his target. <laughs> he pulls a Sergio up the hill. And it ran off the front. It ran off the front. Not good. good. All right, four for four, Pat, here with the bunkers. This one's probably the worst out of all four. Yeah, that's a nice little plugage. So we can see. The trick here is just to lift the entire fried egg up and on. Yeah, just lift the entire bunker onto the green. I'm it's sure that. It's a little hard, so I'm going to have to swing like an animal at this one. Just cut into it. 
see what happens. He went for it. That's a really good out. He's gonna have a putt for pa, uh, birdie actually from there, no, no, or par. No. Yeah, we're struggling, guys. We're struggling. we're struggling on this hole, but hey, it's Beth Page back. What can you do? We kind of slow coming through this fringe too. My speed is uh, apparently atrocious. Could use some work. My speed is atrocious. All right, Pat could really use this one to drop here. This would be a nice par after that really bad lie in the bunker. He needs to go too. It is a lot slower than we thought, guys. Well done. There we go. Sweet little bogey save. Pair of bogeys here on the tough fourth hole. All right, walking back to uh, the tee closed. We're just gonna walk right past that sign, no worries. Uh, fifth hole, par four, 478 yards. Some might uh, call this a long par four and might be one of the more difficult holes on the course. So yeah. definitely try to get a four and get out. So oh gosh, look at that thing. So I don't think there's any question that's probably the most difficult on the course. This is gonna be a tricky one, folks. So 266 carry at the house. Yeah. The best shot's down the right, which is 286 carry from here. Which I, I don't have. <laughs> I don't have. At 266 at the house, if not that little open spot on the left, we just don't want to get through the fairway. Yeah, yeah. 260 at that uh, trap left of the house. So, 260 carry minimum. Yeah, two, yeah, no. No force carry air problem. A little wind too. Yeah, a little into the breeze. Perfect timing. I'm going to swing at this one. He gave it a good swing treatment and that is out of play right. Still got that one foot in the rough. Left of a good line, but he's gonna play. He's not out of play. All right, walking up to our balls on hole five here. This is actually a pretty cool little walk. Just a little strip of grass. Man, I'm, I'm loving this course, guys. This is actually a pretty dope course. All right, Pat has found his ball. His first uh, visit to the native lands of Beth Page Blatt. Yeah, it's not fun. I'll tell you that. The moss is not fun. I'm trying to get back in the fairway with this bit. Don't hit the tree. It's actually not. Could have been worse. Could have knocked it right back in the native lands. But this moss stuff, guys, this is just don't be anywhere over here. We're, we've both struggled from that area. All right, Pat's third shot, 210, playing 220. Driver three iron, three iron. Normally not the club selection you want to do on this hole, but... Put a good swing on that one. If it gets up over the bunker, it'll be good. He's back, five for five. The streak is alive. Did not end up in a good location here, over on the left-hand side. I got about 210 playing uphill. The pin is like over that way. But I'm just gonna try to hit a draw around these trees and just try to catch the green. That would be a successful shot here. Ah, oh, so thick. Ah, uh, such thickness. Can't shave that beard. Ow. Explain to people why this is such a bad lie. Well, because there's a giant <laughs> clump of grass. It's a nice, it's a tuft, a tuft of grass that will prevent the club face from actually getting hitting of the ball. There's no way he can get at that thing. So he's basically just gonna kind of bump it down there. And uh, you can kind of see the green over the hill there. There's bunkers guarding it, so it's gonna be a, a wildly tough shot here for Brody. Gouge 60 is the play here. He's gonna go hard and just try to take the entire clump out. Yeah, almost like a sand shot, really. Yeah, we just kind of exploded out. 
you can get through there and get this ball up in the air, well, the cameraman will be impressed. He's warming up. He's getting loose. He's really gonna take a hack at this one. My God. Oh, and he blasts through it. What a shot. Will it get there? Oh. Oh, he's up on the green complex, not Guys, in the bunker. Don't hit in this stuff. It's not good for your health. Five for five on the bunker play. Could still salvage a bogey if he gets us up and down. Good spinny shot. Really nice rolling out. Gonna have a four footer, five footer for par or bogey. Brody's got a little par chip here. Gonna roll out a little too much, but have a look to save bogey. We're struggling. Well, we've reached the green here on the difficult fifth hole, and none of us are putting for par. We got two bogey putts here. Brody's got a little bit of a left to right slider. He needs to make this. Slight droplets are beginning to fall as Brody lines up his putt here. We're scheduled for rain later. It's starting to creep in right now. Will this one creep in? No. It's gonna die off. You need a little bit more speed, maybe a little bit higher on that. Pat's gotta make this for his bogey. Stay. Yes, oh, good, good five, good five. <laughs> Hole number six here, 408 from the very back, probably 410 for us since we're one foot in the rough. We got a dog leg right to left, bunkers kind of covering the left hand side and through the fairway. You want to stay just short of the bunker on the right there, which is like 268 I think to go in. So my, I'm going to hit a three wood at that bunker with a little draw. Hopefully catch the slope and uh, have it run down the fairway a little bit. We have made it to the final hole of part one of the Beth Page Black Course vlog here. As I said earlier, this is hole number six. It's a par four, 408 yards. Uh, a little bit of a force carry here for some if you're uh, playing one foot in the rough. Shouldn't be too much of an issue for me and Patrick here. But another very, very tight fairway. As you can see, you can either hit a three wood and uh, kind of lay back if you're a shorter hitter or you can hit a driver and be aggressive and try to land it up in between those two bunkers. Moving into this green is one of the cooler approach shots on the front nine, I think, with again, a very, very flat green, but heavily protected by some green side bunkers requiring a lot of accuracy. Perfect, yeah. Yes, I yep. believe so. Right. Shot there. Thank you. Finally in the fairway. He's out to the right. Needs to sit. He'll have a look. He's not in. The, he's not in the thick, thick stuff. Just the thick stuff. So just to give you guys a little context, we just came from Vegas. Uh, I think those videos will be up before this one potentially. I'm not sure. But we were hitting almost a club further in Vegas. Right now, I think everything's kind of going a club less out here in New York uh, just because of the weather temperature. Just change in temperature. Bodies aren't as loose and the ball's just not going nearly as far. Pat is uh, something, something happened because he's getting some nice lies in the rough here. I don't know if I, I got like a troll coming out that's like putting my ball in terrible lies, but. I don't know if that's necessarily a good lie. I mean, it's not bad. You don't have a tough behind your ball. No. So he's got, what well, you got, two? Looking to extend this streak to six, green side bunker. Okay, 200 plus here, coming in this green. Really great shot, a little bit off to the right. Yeah, that, that wasn't that very, 
He hit solid though, but just open club face. Rough kind of kept it open and uh, not sure if he's in a bunker or not, but we'll find out. There's a lot of bunkers now that I walk up to see the green. So chances are he's in that massive one on the right. What do we got here? 155. 155, good drive from Brody. Wind in the face. Nice little tilling gas green up there. Bunkers all around it. Beautiful looking golf shot. A pretty good swing from Brody to match. Headed to the right, the left side of the green. And just off the back, that's gonna be a good shot. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough number for me right now at the uh, distance. It's kind of like that would have been a perfect pitching wedge, but not I just don't think I can get a pitching wedge there. So that was just kind of a little fly down nine. Didn't really hit it that well, a little bit off the heel, I think, but I gotta putt at Birdie. That's all you can do out here. All right, Pat has found himself again in another bunker. He's six for six here. I went just a little bit left. Gonna have a good look at birdie, but gonna have to work on my speed. Let's see what Pat can do here. Open the club face, really good shot. He's really good. Go in, go in. Oh my gosh, you would think. He's getting really good at it. What a shot. Great par, dude. Hey, Brody's got a, a makeable birdie putt here. He's elected to leave the flag in. Will it get there? Yes, it's gonna get there, but it's not gonna get the break he was hoping for. That, yeah, I don't know. It smells weird. Slightly weird. Verdict, weird. We stay with him for the short par putt. And he cleans it up nicely. Good par there from Brody Smith. All right guys, that's gonna do it here for part one at Beth Page Black. We just played the first six holes, getting beat up pretty good, but that's what's expected out here. Uh, this course is uh, looking pretty nice. Uh, had a couple easy holes there, starting to feel a little bit of the, uh, the grit and toughness of this course. Gotta hit fairways out there, but hope you guys are enjoying this. Part two coming soon. Uh, make sure you subscribe, turn on those notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one.